so there is uh there's a russian soldier who was who was killed in in syria in uh in 2016 i believe in in uh in uh, 2016 and you know he he sacrificed himself and i, I want to read you uh, a bit of his story over here because uh, it, it's it's truly it's truly heroic and i i i mean that in the, in the true sense of the term so Today marks five years since Russian officer Alexander Prohorenko sacrificed himself to liberate Syria, Palmyra, from ISIS terrorists. Not a fictional movie star, but a true modern-day Russian hero. He called an airstrike on his own position when surrounded by extremists. Okay, so he died on, on March 17th, 2016, so, so it's now five years and, and, and one day since. And he was uh, awarded the title of hero of russia posthumously that's that's the highest military decoration that you can get it's like the equivalent of uh the medal of honor right and uh in the uk the victoria cross so uh you know th this guy's an absolute hero i mean he, he was you know first of all I'll, I'll get to palmyr in a second but um he, he was surrounded by uh isis by daesh and you know he knew there's no way out and he just called an airstrike on himself he he sacrificed himself literally and and kill all the the approaching terrorists and i mean it doesn't get more heroic than that you know you look at the united states you look at the united kingdom uh who pretend to be fighting isis who are still occupying iraq under this pretext you know they helped create this these conditions that gave rise to to isis to daesh they originally you know they, they are at the the root of Al Qaeda to begin with in the first place and all of its offshoots. We talked about that earlier and, uh, you know, the, uh, the Mujahideen in Afghanistan. And, you know, it's, uh, it's just interesting how the United States creates these, uh, these wars, creates this mess. And then look at what the Russians are doing, right? So they, they want to feed you this propaganda. Oh yeah. You know, the Russians, they just bomb hospitals and, uh, they're just helping, uh, uh, you know, uh, this, the the Assad regime to, to bomb hospitals. I always found that interesting, you know, because Assad, uh, Bashar al-Assad is a doctor. So on, to, on top of being a president, I, I don't understand why a doctor would be bombing hospitals. Uh, anyway, but um, they want to feed you this narrative that Russia is evil, right? I mean, first of all, Russia is in Syria legally, right? They've been formally invited by the Syrian government to help. And uh, were they not, I mean, Syria would be under control of ISIS right now. Honestly, and uh, if Iran, Hezbollah hadn't helped, same thing. So they're, they're in Syria legally. The United States is not in Syria legally. The United States is a, an invader, an illegal invader, just like the United Kingdom. They have no fucking business being in Syria. And on top of that, they're stealing the oil. They're uh, hot, holding hostage all the crops. And so this guy's a real hero. Like, I, I just want to show you this contrast of what the United States and the UK do and then what the Russians do. Like, this guy's 25 when he died. Right. So he, he, he's now I'm older than him, I guess. Right. So. Like, you know, as we say in Arabic, like, right, like, like, no, no one, you know, he didn't have to come and do that. And he did that nonetheless. That, that's that's a true hero. And and, uh, you know, huge, huge respect to him, honestly, huge respect to him. And I want to talk. I want to tell you why Palmyra is important. So, again, his name is Alexander uh, Prokhorenko. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And uh, this guy's a real hero. And just to give you some background about uh, Palmyra, which is you know where he died, and and uh, he was helping to liberate it. So you know Palmyra is um, it's an ancient uh, city in in the desert in Syria, and uh, it's really old, like three thousand BC old. Okay, so <laughs> you know give or take five thousand years old. And um, I've been there as a, as a kid, and uh, it's it's heartbreaking what what ISIS did to it. I mean, they they turned a UNESCO World Heritage Site uh, into, you know, they're savages. They're absolute savages. So look what they did. Um, this is Palmyra, right? This is the Roman archway. That's that's like you instantly recognize that it's Palmyra from this Roman archway. They blew it up. ISIS blew this up. They blew up the gate of Palmyra. These motherfuckers. 
I mean, just just think how long that shit has survived. Like, think think how many people that how many you know in, invaders that Archway survived the French, <laughs> uh, uh, and, and by extension the Nazis, the Vichy French. Uh, it, it's it survived the Ottomans. I mean. It survived thousands of years, and then these motherfuckers that are funded by the West, they come and blow this up. I mean, that's not an attack on Syria only, that's an attack on our collective human history. Truly. And you remember when Trump said he wants to bomb Iran's cultural sites? Iran has like 40, 40 UNESCO World Heritage sites. I mean, he's just, no, he's no different from ISIS. Like, he's that level of, of barbarism. Uh, and so... This is Palmyra, right? Truly, like some magical oasis in the desert. And uh, there's also a museum in there, okay? Um, this is the museum, and this is what ISIS did to it. They just, they fucking ransacked it. So I, I remember being in there. I've, I've been inside this museum when I was a kid. Look, look at that. Look, look at this, this bullshit. I mean, I, I can't even, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, the, the value of that. The, these things have no value. It, it, you, can't, you can't put a price tag on that. They're invaluable. They, they're priceless. Do you understand? They, they don't have a tangible value like, oh, it's a, you know, a $3 million Picasso. No, this is beyond that. These things are thousands of years old. Do you understand how priceless this stuff is? And a lot of this ends up on the black market, just like with Iraq. Iraq has also been pillaged, right? Not just invaded and all the people killed. They pillaged it. I mean, you, you have a whole trade of, of you know, antiques being sold, uh, th things that date back to the Babylonian Empire. And, and, and just like I said, Palmyra is 3,000 years old. You have so many things here, uh, you know, from you had Queen Zenobia, for example, who was ruling at one point. And then you have the Romans as well. This is, it's priceless. And these savages destroyed it. And there's a Roman amphitheater there. I mean, this is one of the, the, the best... Uh, uh, so this, this, you know, theater is one of the, the best preserved in the world. And, you know, you used to have ballets being held there, right? And then ISIS turned it into a place to hold public executions. I mean, just, just think of, 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 of how heartbreaking that is. It's just, it's just disgusting. And they even killed the director of the museum. This guy, right? Khaled Asada, I think I'm saying his name correctly, I hope so. He's 82, beheaded by militants outside the museum where he worked for more than 50 years looking after the city's ancient artifacts. And apparently they, they held him hostage for a month. They tried to, uh, to find out more about the, you know, the treasures, the hidden treasures of the city and, and things like that, I'm assuming, so they could sell it off and make money, just like they've been pillaging the oil. And uh, he refused to tell them. And they, 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 they just cut his head off and, and hung him from a Roman column. I'm, I'm speechless. Like, I, I don't know what to say, honestly. So these guys are heroes, right? These guys are heroes. Uh, when we talk about Prohorenko... This guy's a hero. He helped liberate Palmyra. And the, the, the director of the museum, he's also a hero. How did that sound? He's a, he's a hero. And it's, it's just horrifying what they did. And, you know, they want to come here and tell you again that, oh, this is an uprising, right? If you, if you go and read CNN, you go and read the, the Independent, pick whatever uh, mainstream outlet you want. Oh, no, it's just an uprising. It's a revolution. It's just a revolution, you know. <laughs> No, no, it's, it's, it's not like, you know, ISIS uh, grew out of the invasion of Iraq and, you know, it was subsidized by all these Western governments and these jihadists just running. Well, no, 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 of course not. That never happened. No. And then, you know, I think, um, where was this? This is in front of the, this is in Trafalgar Square in London. They, they erected a replica of this archway, this Roman archway that was destroyed. And... I mean, what's, what's the fucking point? Like, what? <laughs> okay, great, but may, maybe next time Britain should just not fucking interfere in Syria and 
cause the destruction of this in the first place by, you know, uh, helping to, to uh, bring in fighters and arms and, and give support to these fucking extremist nut jobs, then you won't have to make a replica, you know, and we could actually preserve history. How about that? No? What do you expect from the British? I mean, you go to the British Museum, it's just <laughs> it's literally just a collection of, of looted and, and stolen uh, artifacts. The same in the Louvre, right? All of it. It's crazy, honestly. By the way, this is very interesting. If you, if you look here, this, this eagle over here, uh, you know, it, it, it looks, um, it looks especially Roman. Yeah, and um, it's, it's, it's quite incredible uh, how well-preserved it is, right? It's, it's incredible, but uh, you, you do have uh, some other things as well. Uh, if you look over here, this, they say this is from the temple of Baal Shamin, and uh, this was a title applied to different gods at different places or times in ancient Middle Eastern inscriptions, especially in Phoenicia and Syria. The title was most often applied to Haddad, who was also titled just uh, Baal Shamin, one of the two supreme uh, gods and the sky god of uh, pre-Islamic Palmyra in ancient Syria. If you remember, Haddad is the rain god we talked about, like, you know, the Umayyad mosque. Before that, it was a church. Uh, before that, it was a Roman temple to Jupiter. Uh, I think it was also Greek at one point. It was a Greek temple. And then originally, it was a, a temple for Haddad. And I, I had no clue that, the, you know, you look at that eagle and you're like, that's, that's Roman, right? Um, and, well, it turns out that it uh, uh, goes back even further. So, I mean, again, the, the you know, Palmyra is... is, is uh, right on Silk Road. I'm talking the original Silk Road. You know, people come from China. This is a famous trade route uh, on top of all, all the other um, glorious history it has. And just seeing how they've destroyed the, the amphitheater. They blew it up, by the way. They didn't just hold... Uh, so I keep saying amphitheater or just theater. You know, they, they, they held executions there. They also blew it up and destroyed it. There's a before and after photo from Bird's Eye View, which is heartbreaking to look at. They killed the museum director. They blew up the, the... I mean, what is this destruction, right? What is this kind of bullshit? This is their revolution. This is the revolution. This is democracy, really. So... Yeah, speaking of uh, Prokhorenko, they, they exchanged six militants, body for his, uh, six militants for his body to return his body to Russia. And again, this is back, I think this is a year afterwards. Uh, sorry, no, no, this is a few months afterwards in 2016, right? So from, from March until December. And um, he, yeah, he was given a, a nickname. People call him Russian Rambo, right? Uh, I think Hero is adequate. I mean, there you go. And, you know, they, they, they gave him a full uh, uh, military... Uh, they gave him a, a, a military burial with full honors and everything. So, yeah, it's it's uh, quite heroic what he did, and I'm glad they liberated Palmyra. So, you know, that's that's again, I I don't think that you can, the you know, the real casualties of the Syrian war are the civilians, first and foremost. And uh, n but nonetheless, it it, it is uh, sickening to see what has happened to like you know, priceless history. I think it's, it's not just like Syrian history, it's collective human uh, heritage. And, and, you know, effectively, that's why it's, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Like, this is our shared human uh, history. And these savages, they just come and destroy the shit. And, and then, you know, they... They don't tell you that, of course, right? There's, there's just one, one narrative... Oh, Syria bad, Russia bad, and America good, and you know, don't 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 talk about the fact that ISIS and Al Qaeda and all these terrorists were, uh, you know, they they sprung up in the conditions created by Western intervention, and of course they were originally also funded and financed and trained and aided and abetted by these very same governments who who pretend to be delivering democracy. And if you go again, once again, this is why WikiLeaks is so good. You go and read uh, the cables. You know they were they knew that they were uh, the, the Americans. They knew that they could fuel sectarian violence. And again, that's what happened in Iraq. They knew they could fuel sectarian violence in order to throw, overthrow the Syrian government, right? And uh, 
people want to come here and then tell you, oh, there's no regime change. It's just an uprising. <laughs> oh, man. We've seen this movie many times before in many countries. Okay. And of course, Iraq has suffered lots of similar losses, as I mentioned. You know, there's, there's a whole trade, black market trade of stolen antiquities, antiquities and things like that. 